If high-quality music and New York City parks are on your list of weekend favorites, then you won't want to miss this weekend's Verdi Square Festival of the Arts in Manhattan. The first of this season's three concerts took place on Mother's Day to a standing room only crowd. But you did not have to be a mother to appreciate the performance by Grandpa Musselman and his syncopators. Andrew Litton attended with his father George Litton. George is the executive director of the festival. Andrew is the music director of the Bergen Philharmonic Orchestra of Norway. I loved it. It's, you know, it's everything concerts, especially outdoor concerts, should be, which is all about fun and entertainment. And, you know, it really was great. The crowd really got into it and everybody, you know, not just the kids were dancing. I think all the grown-ups were dancing, too. The festival takes place in a somewhat unlikely location, sandwiched between busy Broadway and Amsterdam Avenue, directly over the MTA 72nd Street subway station. One might think that would ruin the good time. It's totally crazy, and what, what, how much more New York can you possibly be? The sirens going by, ambulances going by, buses tooting. You know, it's, it's fantastic. I can hear the horns and stuff like that. Sometimes you play a note and then hear a car horn come by behind you, like right at like, knock, knock, you know, right. so that can throw you sometimes. You right. think you're still playing. I could feel the subway. I thought at one point that it was Will's bass drum, but it was actually the subway. We had a slightly inebriated woman uh, before the show started who had to be warded off, so it's a, it's a hot spot. Now in its fourth year, the festival places talented young musicians from the Upper West Side's many music conservancies on center stage. I went to Manhattan School of Music uh, up on 122nd in Claremont, as did the rest of the gentlemen in the band. What's great is these young people are getting a chance to perform in front of people, and you know, and that's what really, you know, the experience of performance is what a young musician needs, and this is a great forum for that. It was also reminiscent of the role that these kind of ensembles played in traditional New Orleans settings or Chicago settings, street bands playing in public squares, playing public concerts. Another concert, this time opera, is planned for Sunday, May 17th at 5 o'clock. What would the park's namesake think of all this? I'm sure Giuseppe Verdi would, would approve of you know, any music being made on his square as long as it was of the highest quality, which this was. This is a really talented bunch of young people that were performing. As an old-timer musician myself, it's great to see the next generation coming along and being very enthusiastic about, well, America's art form, about jazz. I think it's great. Giuseppe, it's not all about opera, but come back <laughs> next Sunday and you'll get it. If you miss this Sunday's opera, you can catch American Show Tunes, the final performance of the season for the Verity Square Festival. That'll be Sunday, September 13th at 5 o'clock. On the Upper West Side, Bill Crumlick reporting for CNS Arts.